Are you serious? Kim Jong-un is at it again. What? What do you do now? Well, yesterday, uh, which would have been March 22nd, 2014, Kim Jong-un fired 30 rockets. Uh, they were short-range rockets, and he fired them. Uh, and, and, of course, he never tells anybody he's going to do it. So that's why it could create a provocation, especially when the United States and South Korea are out in the sea doing military drills, which they let everybody know they're going to do. They do it every year the same week, same period of time, actually, about a month. Uh, that was uh, yesterday. 30 rockets today, this morning, on this Sunday, March the 23rd, 2014, Kim Jong-un has done it again. This time, 16 more rockets. I want to thank Mike Dell for this report. North Korea launched short-range rockets into the sea off its east coast for the second straight day. Today, Sunday, again, March 23rd, 2014, 16 rockets today. According to the South Korean officials, it's in what's believed to be North Korea's way of protesting the U.S.-South Korean military drills. The rockets flew about 60 kilometers, or 37 miles, early Sunday morning and, uh, and landed, of course, into the sea. Uh, about a week ago, North Korea launched 25 rockets, which would travel 44 miles each, okay? Uh, so there is still a lot going on. Uh, also, one of those rockets earlier in the month uh, North Korea fired a rocket, and it came within minutes of hitting a Chinese commercial plane that was carrying 202 people flying through the skies. Now, I, that might have been an accident, or they might have purposely wanted to send a message of a close call. I would just can't see North Korea doing that to China, but then again... Uh, you know, I wouldn't. I can't see somebody hijacking a Malaysian airplane, a Boeing 777, flight MH370. It's gone for 16 days, and nobody knows where this plane is with 239 souls on board. Did I say hijacking? Because that's what I think happened uh, by the pilots themselves, one or both. And uh, the, can't find the wreckage. And the media has us looking in one spot for four or five days and looking now in another. But the truth is, we're not getting the truth. And so we're going to wait and see if we can find out what's going on there. But certainly, uh, we're living in some very, very precarious times. If you're not saved, you need to understand that the Bible told us in the last days, because iniquity abounds, the love of many would wax cold. Now, that's one of the Signs of the end times, of the apocalypse, if you will, the great revelation of the soon coming king, Jesus Christ, who will come back into the world. We're also getting ready to enter into a four blood moon season. So it's very important that you know we're living in the last days. Give your life to Jesus Christ. I'll be right back in just a moment. Oh, that's beautiful.